I'm Charlie with Red Summit RF, and here is another episode of Ham Hacks. This is my paper log from my most recent Summits on the Air activation. This is one of my logs already entered into the Summits on the Air database. In order to claim the points that you've earned for a Summits on the Air activation, you need to transfer your logs or your QSOs over to the Summits on the Air database. Once successful, you'll be able to track your progress using this My Activator log. You'll see mine here. I have uh, the last 12 months listed. And so over the last 12 month, months, you'll see a running total here, starting with the first activation was 13 and then 17, 30. You can submit your contacts one at a time into the Summits on the Air database using the Submit Activator Entry option. I never use the Submit Activator Entry option unless I have five contacts or less, more or less anyway. And then if I do have more than that, it's more efficient for me to create that CSV file. I've been using CSV files for a while, but I've been entering data directly into the CSV file. My friend Brian, W7JET, recently recommended that I try the Soda Log Editor. It's a piece of software that was developed by G0LGS. This software has made my life so much easier and my logging has now become much more efficient using this software. You do have to install the software onto your PC, but the installation is pretty straightforward and pretty quick. I found it by going to the uh, Soda log editor in Google search and it was the first one that came up for me. Here you'll see G0 LGS's web page and right down here is the download soda CSV editor. You click on that and you get it downloaded here in the bottom of your screen. It looks like this web site is blocked. I'm going to continue And I'm going to launch it, and I'm going to say run it, and yes, accept, next, 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 and install. Once it's installed, we'll just clear that window, and you'll see that it's up and ready to go. I'm going to cancel this. And now you're ready to log. I used Brian W7JET's settings after installing. So make sure that you go to options and have auto time, auto clear summit and auto band reset unchecked. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the date of this activation, which was January 2nd. And the time of the first activation, even though it isn't listed here, I know what time it is. It was at 9 o'clock straight up, which is going to be 1600 UTC KC7. MSU goes in there. He wasn't on a summit. The band is going to be 144 megahertz. And it was FM. No notes. My ref is going to be W7A. Stroke Alpha Whiskey dash zero three nine. So I'll log that one. And then the next one was KI seven QEK. His time was about the uh, six oh five, sixteen oh five, and it was the same frequency. And we'll continue on.
All right, I have 41 entries you can see down here at the bottom. It's time for me now to go ahead and save this log. Now that that's saved, we'll go into the database. And in the database is right here. And we'll go to submit logs, upload CSV, choose file. And it's going to be under documents and soda logs. And we've got right here that CSV file. Let's see if we can successfully upload that. And it's looking pretty good. All right, submit, agree, done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get a chance to at least try the Soda Log Editor and find maybe that it's more efficient for you. Maybe it'll help you out to become more efficient like it did me. I'm Charlie with Red Summit RF and thanks for joining me for another episode of Ham Hacks. 73, see you later guys.